All right, everyone is getting into the 4th of July spirit today, including these adorable goats in Colorado <laughs> Springs. Thanks so much to Sarah, who shared these pictures on our Discover Colorado Through Your Photos Facebook page. Sarah says she used animal crackers to bribe the goats into <laughs> standing still for these photos. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> so All right, cute. so it's easy to get into the 4th of July spirit when you have pretty great weather out there. And animal crackers. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson joining us live now. So Mike, depending on where you are tonight, you might still see some scattered showers. Indeed, not so much in the Denver area the way it's looking, but other spots to the north of us and to the west are seeing showers and thunderstorms. A little bit of activity, Larimer County up into Weld County and a bit more just down to the west of Denver. If the skies are dark to the southwest of you, that storm is coming your way. So that'll be your best way to uh, gauge it throughout the evening because there'll still be about a 30% chance of some of those storms. So warm, a few storms, 85 at 7 p.m., 76 by 9 p.m., which is just to be delightful for fireworks time, 70 by 11 p.m., but do use caution for tonight and do remember those pets when things start to get loud. So 95 was our high today, 66 was the low temperature, 102 is the record, and that was 1874, and the average high is at 89 degrees, so we're well above that. It's 93 at the airport, 92 at our studios, but the humidity is only 14 percent, so you're not going to get a whole lot of moisture out of those dark clouds with that kind of dry surface air. Pressures falling, air quality is good. We're in the hot dry area for the most part. There's just a little touch of monsoon moisture coming up from Arizona and New Mexico. The cooler air all week long is going to stay to the north of us. So some scattered storms around this evening, but not much. By morning, there may still be a few lingering showers down toward Durango, but otherwise partly to mostly cloudy in the mountains, partly cloudy on the plains, mild with low temperatures in the 60s and mostly in the 50s in the mountains. Along the Front Range, we'll see a low of 54 degrees at Estes Park tomorrow morning. They had a high today of 89 degrees at Estes Park. As far as the day tomorrow, we'll start partly cloudy and mild. By midday, it'll be warm and dry, but in the mountains, start to get some building clouds and a few scattered thunderstorms between noon and 3 o'clock. Start to see those popping up a little bit more, and there'll be just scattered storms again tomorrow with a similarly hot day in the low to mid-90s on the plains mostly in the 70s in the mountains for tomorrow. We'll see readings at 102 out at Ray tomorrow afternoon. Scattered storms, hot again. Pretty much the same story for Wednesday and Thursday, although it's indicating maybe a little bit more monsoon moisture coming in. So we may see some stronger storms Wednesday on the eastern plains and again over eastern Colorado on Thursday. By Friday, the hotter, drier air is building back in with a better chance of just hot dry weather for next weekend. So your seven day is 93 with a few storms tomorrow. Storms likely Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures will stay in the upper 80s with the increased cloud cover. And as far as any severe weather, that's the severe weather outlook. It's mostly north of us. Uh, we'll just scattered storms. The stronger stuff will be off to the north of us for tomorrow and likely for Wednesday. By the weekend, it's back to the mid 90s and just a few thunderstorms are expected. Hope you've had so far a very happy 4th of July.